DJ here with the Chief Peak, and today we're gonna to be doing a chest and back superset workout. So for this workout, we're gonna go through 12 exercises in total performed in supersets, which is two exercises to a set. We're gonna do two sets of each superset. Our working time is 30 seconds, our break time is 15 seconds, and in between the different supersets, we'll then take a 20 second extended break. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, let's get to work. We've got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout. Now our first exercise we're gonna go into is going to be chest opener. So slight bend in our elbows here, pulling back, opening up the chest, coming back forward across right here, stretching out the back. Here we go. Nice and easy to start out with. We're not trying to yank open the chest as hard as possible. Just trying to get some blood flow while warming it up, stretching it out. Got good mornings coming up after this. There we go, so slight bend in the knees, bending down at the hips and then at the lower back. Come up and back up. Down. There we go. Nice and easy. We're going into toe touches next. So feet a little wider. Drop down, touch, come up, switch sides. Here we go. Don't forget to breathe. Arm swings coming up. So we're swinging our arms forwards and backwards here. Trunk twist. So feet wide, rotating at the core. There we go. We got pull, rotate, and press next. So we're gonna start with our elbows high and then drop down, come up, rotate, come up. There we go. So start here, pull up, external rotation, and then press back down. I wanted to start off doing internal and external rotations. Let's get one more here. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our workout. Our first exercise we're gonna go into is reverse grip rows. On the left side, we're gonna do these seated. So we're gonna grab our bands, wrap them around one or both of our feet. Make sure to completely wrap it around. From here, palm up, elbow stays close to the body, pulling to the hip. So from the knee, down the thigh to the hip right here, elbow close. Should really feel it right here in the lats. Here we go, choke up on the bands as needed. Oh yeah, sitting nice and tall. We're not bent over like this, doing that business. Here we go. Switching sides here, going to the right side. Make sure to completely wrap the band around, not just Kind of loop it over the sole of your shoe. Here we go. Right side, staying low from the knee down the thigh to the hip. There we go. Come on. Keeping our hand low as you pull back. We're pulling back and down. The more down you can pull, the more you'll feel it. And the last. Ooh, here we go. Back to the left side here. You should be using heavy resistance today. Really trying to focus on that strength training here. Here we go, palm up. Pulling back and down. There we go. Back and down. Come on. Back nice and straight, keeping that low back straight. Here we go. Put 
Push it down. Ah, there we go. Whew, good reps right there. Switching sides, back to that right side. Couple seconds. Palm up. And then back. Ooh. Remember to pull down. Focus on that lat. There we go. Come on. You got this. Ah, keep pushing. Last one. There we go. All right, next we got a chest press or push ups. We got an extended break here. So, if you want to do chest press, take your bands behind the back. Right here, we're pushing straight out. Right here, bam, come back. If you want to do push ups, that's great. If you can do push ups, do push ups. If you need to do bands, do bands. If you really want to make it tough, do band resisted push ups. <laughs> there we go. Push it out. Here we go. All right, we got shrugs coming up. So, for these, we're going to step on the bands, getting our feet nice and wide here to eat up a bunch of that band. Here we go. Coming up and down. Make sure to keep your head up. You don't want your chin to drop and then strain your neck. There we go. Come on. Going back into push ups or chest press. I'm going to do push-ups this time. Here we go, a couple seconds. Just dropping down, exhale on the way up. Dropping down, exhale on the way up. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. If you need to drop down to the knees, that's totally fine. Let's get one more. Back into shrugs. Feet wide, eat up a bunch of that band. Here we go. With another squeeze. Back down, up, squeeze, back down. Come on. Come up and squeeze. There we go. All right, 20 second break. We're going in to high rows. So not use a nice light band on these. I'm just doing one arm high row left side so we can really focus on that side. Of course, my band would be in a knot right here. Wrap it around the foot, fully around the foot. And then from here, we're gonna pull to the shoulder or to the, to the armpit. I guess it's kind of same thing, but right there. So keeping the elbow high, we're not rotating at the shoulder. It's coming up, so we're just pulling straight back. We're not getting any external rotation. So the external rotation is up and back right there. We're not getting any of that. Just straight back, come back. Straight back, back down. Keeping the elbow nice and high. Switching sides here. Too easy. There we go. So right side. Just 
Don't forget to breathe. Oh, yeah. I should feel it kind of right behind or in between the shoulder blades and then probably a little bit in the back of the shoulder, the rear delt right there. Switch them back. I'm just going to see if I can wrap it around both of my feet here. See how that goes. I feel like that might be a little... Ah, I don't think I can do that. We're going to see. There we go. Still left side. Oof. Pretty sure I'm maxing that band out right there. <laughs> There we go. I don't think I can stretch this band any further right here. Come on. There we go. High rows, right side. I remember when we're doing this, that we need to stay with our back nice and straight here. That might be a little, there we go. Here we go, up and back. Keeping the elbow high. Feel it in the upper back. Upper back, rear shoulder. Come on. There we go. Good stuff right there. We got incline chest press here. So you can do incline chest press or staggered hand push ups, incline chest press. You're going to be here pushing up to the top of the head, back down. Top of the head, back down. Staggered hand push up. That's what I'll do. We're going to have one hand normal, one hand high. So I got my left hand normal, right hand high, dropping down, coming up, dropping down, coming up. We're just gonna keep this position the entire time. We will switch hands on the next one. If you're doing incline chest press, you're just gonna do that for both sets. Here we go. Going into good mornings here. So nice light resistance until you know what your back can handle. We're trying to strengthen the back without injuring it first. So start out with a light resistance. It's like an RDL, but we're gonna be bending at the lower back, come down, back up. Make sure that it's nice and smooth in that transition from down to back up. There we go. Let's see one more. Again, not using heavy weight until you know what you can handle. It's pretty easy to overload your lower back without realizing it until it's too late. So until you know, then just go light. That way you don't have to worry about it. So right hand normal, left hand high. If you're doing staggered hand push-ups here, here we go. Dropping down, coming up. If you're not doing staggered hands, you're doing incline chest press. We go to angle so you can kind of see. One hand normal, left hand is about at my forehead, the palm is. Here we go. If you need to drop down to the knees, that's fine. Back into good mornings. Here we go. Remember, nice light resistance to start off with until you know. Coming down, smooth back up. Nice, smooth movements for this. There we go. Last one here. There we go. All right, we got 
seated rows right here. We're gonna do doubles on this one. And then just have a nice light band close by for our next one. So here's my light band over there. Here's my row bands right here. Palms facing the body, pulling back. We're pulling back somewhere in between the belly button and the waist. There we go. Back straight, chest out, head up. Coming back and squeeze. Palms stay facing the legs. There we go. Oh, we got face pulls coming up. So I'm literally just gonna keep my other band sitting there using a lighter band here. This time we are going to externally rotate at the shoulder. So light band here and then coming up, pulling to the face back down. So from here, we're gonna end up kind of pulling up and back that last little bit right here. <sighs> kind of pulling right to the side of the face here. <sighs> Make sure you're just a little bit away. Just in case anything happens with that band, you don't wanna be pulling right here and then the band smack you. If you're right here, it's just gonna pass right by. <sighs> here we go. Back to rows. Good heavy bands again. Palms facing the body. Coming back, squeeze, back down. Back, squeeze. Here we go. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. One more here. Come back, squeeze. There we go. Going back into face pulls. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got them way off now. There we go. <laughs> here we go, pulling up and back. Getting that external rotation. And you come back, squeeze the back too. Squeeze. Ooh, it's on fire. There we go. Let's go. There we go. All right, so we're going into single arm push-ups, left side. If you can't do single arms, then you can just do a standing chest press and just do one arm at a time, choking up on the resistance. So have the majority of the resistance on the side you're not using. That way it's extra heavy on one side. All right, if you are doing single arms, right arm is down on the ground. Elbow right here, from here, coming down to the left side, back up. Down to the left side, back up. Another option is you can just do negatives with a single arm. So it's like we're doing a one arm push up. So we're gonna come down nice and slow, drop down, use the right hand, push back up with both. Down nice and slow, there we go. Push back up. So now we're really focusing on that negative. There we go, switching sides. So if you're doing the single arm, left elbow is down now. I'm gonna do a face and forward so you can kind of see how my body turns around the elbow that is down. So right here, I'm coming out to this side, pushing back up. So it's kind of rotating on that elbow that is down. Just like that, or the single arms right here, coming down, push back up, coming down, Push back up. Here we go. Switching sides. So left side is the working side. Right elbow would be down here. Here we go. Coming down. Pushing up. Coming down. Pushing up. 
Here we go. So when you're down here, you're trying to get almost all your weight to that left side. Here we go. Right side. Oh, these are no joke. So left side will be down. Right side's the working arm. Here we go. So coming down and up. There you go. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Couple reps. One more. Ah. Woo. Oh, chest is spent. Way to go. Great workout today. I got my heart rate up extra high too. Way to push it there. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one. See you guys.